In this video, we'll be covering the My Profile section of KV Core. It's a very important section to fill out because that's where KV Core pulls a lot of the information it needs to market on your behalf. So to access the My Profile section, once you have KV Core opened up, you'll probably you know, be landing on this screen that you're seeing on my end here. The way you'll get to it is by clicking on your name. It should be your first name at the top right and it's a drop down. So I'm gonna click on this button right here. This is what it'll look like. So once I click on my name, a drop down will pop up and the My Profile section is going to appear right below down here. It'll have some cog icons next to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click My Profile and then it'll open up with the screen that we're looking at here. Okay, I'm gonna close the navigation on the left hand side here so that we have more space to, to work with here and see everything that's going on. So when you open up the My Profile section, this is all the information KB Core has uh, on you basically and it utilizes this information to market to people on your behalf or maybe display your social media handles or you know show you know what uh, the about you section so that people can read up on all the interesting things you uh, that that make you <laughs> so uh, this is where you want to come in and make sure all of the information is either accurate or if it's not filled out you want to come in here and fill out everything you can so on the agents uh, on the my profile section once you get here you'll have a blue button that says edit profile so I'm gonna click on here once you do, it's going to make all of these fields editable, okay? So you notice how everything kind of changed here. So very, very important, make sure you have a very nice headshot uh, of yourself to upload here. Because whatever image you have on this um, section here is what will display on your KV Core website. Okay, so you can click here and then upload an image. Um, by the way, I'm a photography and a videographer. So if you are in California and you need, you know, videography or photography services, reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to take some very nice headshots for you so that we can make sure you look your best on your KV Core website. OK, but let's keep moving. Um, so make sure you have your preferred name or your actual name uh, on here. I'm not sure if you go by a nickname that you want to you know, brand yourself as, but you can change your first name, last name, and your title here. I have realtor slash coach, and um, you would need to put your MLS ID in here, uh, your agent's NRD, NRDS ID, and your vendor ID. Most, if not all of these things should already be pre-filled for you. If not, go ahead and reach out to your broker uh, or your local association to receive this information so that you can plug it in here. So this is how KV Core has access to your MLS and you know, at, as a result is able to pull listings from there and then share that with your leads. So make sure this is filled out. It's probably the most important thing um, you want to do. Okay. And if we scroll down a little bit here, a lot of this stuff here is pretty self-explanatory. It's going to ask you for your cell phone number. If you have a work, you know, phone number, a direct line, an email, um, a from email. So the email and the from email here, the only difference is the email that you see here, this by default will be the email you utilize to log in to KV core. However, the from email, is whatever email you put in here and you whatever email you have here will be what's displayed to people who receive your marketing emails whether that be you know property you know search alerts market reports home evaluations basically anything you send out via email using kv core what you see in the from email will be what people see okay so if you have a custom email like i do right here this would be a great place to put that if not, you can leave it blank and KV Core will send emails as uh, your, um, you know, the login email. So probably your brokerage email. If you go down here, the from name is also, you know, the name people will see when they receive your emails. So make sure to put your name on here. Very, very important. So you build that uh, relationship with people by them knowing your name. Okay down here uh, this is going to be your website this will be your brokerage uh, branded website that kv core utilizes should be already filled out for you 
And if you have a personal website, you can also plug that in here. I personally haven't seen KV Core put my personal website anywhere or at least showcase it, but maybe that will be um, something that they have somewhere on the website in the future. So uh, if you don't have a personal website, go ahead and leave this blank. Uh, if you do, just put it in here just to have it in case. Okay. Uh, also, if you do need um, help with your website, uh, setting it up and all that, make sure to reach out to me uh, and I will be more than happy to help you out with that. Or if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Okay. Uh, also, you can link your lender uh, through here. So if you click on this box right here, you can actually type out your lender's name. And if they are partnered with uh, KV Core, you'll be able to select them here and link your lenders with KV Core to have a seamless tr transition from client to you know pre-approval process. If you don't see your lender here, KV Core has a form you can fill out to have your a lender enroll into the system so that you can start working with people uh, you know that need a lender directly through KV Core, which is pretty cool. You can have your designations, the licenses you have. If we scroll up a little bit here, very, very important. I'm big, you know, I'm, 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 I, I couldn't stress this more. You need to be on social media. And if you don't, you will be left behind. So make sure you create um, at least a Facebook account, maybe have a LinkedIn, at very least a YouTube account, an Instagram account also. And hey, dare I say, venture into TikTok as well. Okay, and make sure you put your profile link and fill out all of these different fields. Um, looks like I still need to put my Twitter in here. I don't have a Pinterest yet, but I would argue that's the least important out of all of these. But overall, try to be on every single platform that you can, at least have some type of presence. Okay. Uh, we need to talk about, you know, getting on camera and you know actually posting things on social media and i have plans on posting a few videos on that uh, for us realtors however make sure to fill all of this out um, if we scroll down here make sure your license number is here as well if it is make sure it's accurate and uh, yeah all of these other fields are pretty self-explanatory if you scroll down a little bit there's an about me section so the about me section is about you okay so you want to write a very nice paragraph about you here anyone that goes on your website will be able to read this and build that connection with you and it's a you know really nice thing to have on there to build that um, you know some form of relatability um, yeah so that's where that would go and if we scroll down even a little bit more here you have your email signature field so if you have a fancy email signature you can copy it and paste it into this uh, box right here I probably need to update mine. I've been meaning to do so for the longest, but um, yeah, <laughs> so that's where that would go. And uh, just copy and paste it in here. Or if you're old fashioned, you just want to type it out. You can also do so here and then just um, move on to the next field. Oh, also right below the email signature box, there is a ink, there's a little switch here that says include signature on all outgoing email. So any marketing material that you send out there as a real estate agent, you need to make sure you're covered. Your DRE number is on there. Your brokerage name is on there. Um, by switching this on, KV Core will automatically attach this um, email signature to all outgoing emails, which could be a good idea. Okay, so if you know you might forget to add it on, you can switch this on uh, or if you want to add this on manually depending on what you're sending out uh, you can switch it off okay um, same here for text messages uh, you can either choose this message over here or just have exp realty shown okay and then down here this is just more information uh, this will not be displayed on your website but you can fill this out just to, for the sake of having everything filled out um, for those people who have OCD, you'll probably fill this out. So you can put your credentials, background, experience, education, achievement, and community involvement. Doesn't hurt to fill it out. Maybe one day KV Core will have a section where that will be displayed and uh, you'll be covered then. Okay. And that is 
In a nutshell, the My Profile section, this is probably the first thing you want to do before you start diving into anything, you know, in KV Core, because a lot of the things KV Core will utilize when branding, you know, your material will be pulled from the My Profile section. So having a, um, you know, filled out and accurate, you know, information on this page will help you out in the future. And this is basically the foundation for everything. Okay. This was the My Profile section. Uh, let me know if you have any trouble filling this out or if you have any questions pertaining the My Profile section. You can leave your questions in the comment section below. You can reach out to me. My contact info is in the description. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for sticking along with me. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to it if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.